Okay, I'm Axel, and this is how to get a book onto your iPod. Now, first, you're gonna go to Google and type in entitle uh, colon in parentheses index uh, dot of and parentheses and then I mean end things then PDF and then type in the book you want like. I'll just do, uh, let's see what's a good book. I don't know, I'll just press enter. Let's see what books are here. Okay, I don't know. I'll just type in. I don't know. Just pretend that I got one. And then what you're going to do is you're going to type in PDF to ebook. I mean, not that. Ebook to iPod. I mean, no, not that either. Crap. Let me just look at the history. Okay. There. And then you go ebook to images download, then go to the second link. Click download. And then click download. And click run. And it should save computer. And it'll go onto your desktop. And then you double click it. For the MP3 player, pick whatever one you have. I have Apple, and those settings are right for me. And choose what tripod do you have, or what thing you have, image type, and then click Open Ebook, and um, look for some ebook. Like for me, I've got Modern Coin Magic by J. B. Bobo or whatever his name is, and then. Um, yeah, you can like change the font and uh, rotate and page numbers and all that. And encoding output. And this is, it make, automatically makes folders for the books. So depending on how many folders you want and how many pictures are going to be in each folder, you decide those. But I just go with all because it's easier. And then for JPEG quality, you probably want to do 100. Otherwise, if you go lower, you can hardly even read it. But I like 100% because it's just like delicious. And you could even choose a background for it, but I'm not going to do that. And then you click convert to images. And this goes really, really fast, but I'm just going to pause it for now. Well, actually, yeah. Okay, so now it did that, and it's done converting, so then you just exit, and it appears on your desktop as a folder. I already did two, Mark's, Max Brooks, the Zombie Survival Guide, and Modern Coin Magic. And for Max Brooks, the Zombie Survival Guide, it's a great book, I suggest you read it. You open it up, you can check it out, and it makes pictures of all the pages. And uh, it goes really, really fast. It takes like maybe a minute for like a 500 page book. Yeah, mine's being slow because like Cam Studio's up. Hold on. Yeah. Then you go to iTunes, and by the way, have your iPod plugged in, obviously, or whatever device you use. Okay. And my iPod's right there, and I call it a pod, get it for Axel.
<sighs> Mine's being so slow. Since it's being slow, I'll tell you a joke, I guess. Knock, knock. Who's there? Really delayed interrupting banana. Really delayed interrupting banana who? Banana. Get it? Ha. <laughs> Yeah, and um, let me, and then you go to s photos, sync photos from blah blah blah, and then you go and it shows your desktop, so you find what you want, I'm gonna do Max Brook Zombie Survival Guide, and yeah, I'm gonna do that, so you open that. And there you go. More than one book. Then right click new folder books. It doesn't matter what you name it, but you know. And then drag the folders there. In fact, that's what I'm going to do, I think. Books. Okay. Yeah. And. Then you click apply and wait for it to go and yeah. So that's how you get a book on your iPod and yeah, so there you go. Toodaloo, I guess. Crap, WordCam Studio Go. I'm gonna have to go to Task Manager. Okay. Bring the front. Nice. Okay, I'm gonna have to like open Cam Studio or something. And there you go.